a sense. We have an early Kog'Maw, we might consider a Blaster Route in this case. Usually the Blaster Route is when you get an early Kog'Maw to a degree. We have a Death Blight already too, so the automizations could be okay, could be okay. But in the end, it is a worse build, I'm not gonna lie. The win condition for Blasters is a Rowan Soul 2-star, Nar 2-star, Jinx 2-star, a lot of high cost units in the end. Well, same thing can be said for other builds too, but specific like a 2-stars that are very, very difficult to a degree. Whereas other compositions, like Salmon Nex, only need a Vein 2 star full, uh, full, with like a good iron value, right? For example, for example. Giant Slayer should be a better choice than uh, Death Blade at the moment. So I'm gonna be a bit more careful with that if I can. Of course, getting other cards, maybe such as, you know, you know, you know. Maybe getting other cards such as, like, um, like um, Salmon Nex could be useful to a degree, but we'll think about it a bit, bit more. Fiora, hmm. Fiora means more of the Sabinetic joke. Okay. Here, I want an item holder. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I do want an item holder. Well, you we can make Giant Slayer first, but if there's a. Um, if there's Vanguards in the lobby, you might be ready to go for like Last Whisper, so Degree 2. So instead of Giant Slayer, I could go for, you know, Deathblade into a bow and hope for a crit item. Let's just not make anything yet. No, I, need more, I need to be more decisive. Let's just make Giant Slayer. Good. Giant Slayer should be the better route if you were to go for Blasters anyways, either too, which is the acceptable decision choice. I would prefer to go for non-Deathblade itemizations on Blaster recently. I do enjoy Blasters in the past with Deathblade, but not anymore due to the fact that, ooh. Well, we know what this means. Let's go for Blasters. Let's go for Blasters. Along the way, way, we're gonna go blast to a degree. Okay, now we're gonna rotate to the right side if we can, so just to pretend we're doing something to a certain sense. Gotta rotate to blast if we can't do a degree. Mm hmm. Alright, the Gogma will help us save a lot of economy early game, and it's going to help us take a lot less damage too, which are the important factors. The Kog'Maw is well itemized, the setup is for more of a brawler blaster route than going for a cybernetic route, or a other, or, or a different route in particular. Now, that does not mean we have to go for blasters all the time though, it does not mean you have to always go for this particular route, nonetheless. Okay. You can always transition to something else if you really, 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 really wanted to. If you really, really, really. Oh, so many Nocturnes though. What the? Are they Battlecast players? No, this one's a Blaster potential player. This one's a Blade Master player. Okay. Hmm. Keep them here. I've been away from NA for like a month or two. Why do people position hard now? People that I'm used to position this hard, they're moving stuff. Oh, this guy's from China. They're actually moving stuff, dude. Usually NA did not move anything whatsoever. What happened? What happened, guys? What happened? I felt like an industrial revolution, like revolution hit here. To a certain degree. It's completely different. Like a revolution up and guys are so good now. Let's see. Here two giant slayers, i.e. infinity edge, our opponent C V, so we can actually get the item priority compared to the others. We do want damage items first and then we'll fit backwards backline items next. That's how blasters do it. Or 
Dude, blasters? Actually, blasters can do okay with like them. No, no, no. Blasters need damage times no matter what. So if the Blitz Cranks is open, we'll take the Blitz Cranks and maintain the Infinity Edge first and see how this goes. Because it's up for your no noise. Let's maintain our round and see exactly. I'm not making fun. No, no, no. It's called showing respect. No, no, no. I showed respect. All right? All right? We're bowing our heads all right, towards a respectful country. That's what we're doing. We are not laughing at them. Pa. We got a fizz at the rate too. It's a bit, bit early, but it's pretty, pretty fair to a degree. Not that bad. I do would prefer a better frontline units if I can. And there is not that bad either in this particular galaxy. Clumping the opponents up to a degree is also not that bad either. It was done. So we'll keep it here. Kind of exposed to infiltrators, but we'll keep it here. I can't move too slowly because there is ping here, so if I move too slowly, it's not gonna, you know, work. And we might get Blitzcrank's pulled or something. So we gotta be very, very careful about that to a certain degree. Oof. The Kogma is very, very strong at the moment. The Kogma is a strong mud. Can we get the school mark? Yes, we can. Right? Just as Obama said, guys. Yes, we can. Right? Yes. We can. GA, GA. Mm. Now we are going to continue this round of Populum. I do actually enjoy that variation too. Um, I'm going for the GA variation in the, uh, in the, uh, you know, you know, you know, in the uh, blaster round. We'll keep the Malphi in the front because Malphi is a good, good tanky boy, regardless of what he does. Malphi has one of the best HP tank, tank fellas and visual units in the game, which is nice. Um, I could go for Irelia and transition into Cybernetics. It's still possible, but... I do not want to, too, too far off. I think it's just better to go for Blast 2s. Check if anybody else is going for Blast 2s and just go for Blast 2s instead. The Kogma is not necessary as a win condition and it's going to our interest goal to a degree. That's why. <laughs> Get it? Okay. We'll keep it though for now. We'll keep the girl at the moment and we'll decide to sell off later if we have to, to a certain sense. We'll sell you for interest school and we're gonna wait. Need to use the rest for my right back. No need to go for the mechs in this case scenario because you don't have tank items. Mechs are not strong without tank items in general. It's such a, all right. Chain mail into a tier. We are crying now. We found our fine, fine Jinxaluni Capuchini. Jinxaluni is a good unit to have because she is very, very adorable. All right. So we're going to use Jinxaluni to a certain degree. I do want Bramble Vest and a different item instead. Maybe Hand of Justice could be a good item to go for into the into the uh, Blaster Tech. So we'll hold on to that. Oh, so many infiltrators though. Keep this. So many infiltrators, they're terrifying. Chainmail, ye or nay. Chainmail, ye or nay. Who? Chainmail on him. Because I can sell him whenever I want, this one. Oh, four Vangos. Yaush. That's a problem. Uok. As I said, four vanguards are a problem. We want to level up to seven if we can. Um, right now, right now, or later, later. I could level up right now, right now if I had to, but I could also level up later, later if I have to too. No need for the fist. Not gonna do much for us anyways. We'll put in the Cassiopeia and Karma combo instead. Should be a bit, bit better. I could decide to go for Graves instead of the Jinx now, but I want to keep the Jinx. And I do want to keep my interest goal mark if I can too. No Rebel synergy at the moment. 
either. So we'll wait and chill. Could give a tear to Kogma to make him cry, but making a making a you know Kogma cry is not morally correct to do. So we're gonna wait on that. It is not a morally correct to make Kogma's cry, guy. Right? It's not morally correct. So we're gonna wait on that and see how this continues. There's a lot of vanguards in lobby because as a because in this galaxy the. Uh, Plunder planet. It is more beneficial to go for Vanguard comps early on. Why? Because Vanguard comps don't die while killing well. That's why. They do not die while killing well. That's the thing about Vanguards. Jinx is there for the extra damage, but the Kogma cannot finish off if the Vanguard can prop in the end. That's how it goes. All right, now we're gonna sell this to a certain degree. Um, I could level up at the Rebel Synergy in, but is it gonna help me that much in terms of interschool? It's gonna make me that much stronger. Nay is the answer to that. I am worried because my front line is not upgraded, my brawler line is not upgraded at the moment. So, if we were to maintain this route, we will lose a fight eventually because of our lack of like um lack of like tankiness to certain certain stuns. I am worried about that the most. I do wish to level up after the uh, Curzel here so that we can now add in the extra like a tank unit whatever it could be that's what we want to do in the end all right let's think about it nice pull onto the gym we got lucky there but his shake goes alive and shake is a monster of this comp it does a lot of damage and has a guardian angels too <laughs> that shaker the traditional dark star shaker with jorvan and karma is very very strong guys very very strong Tank items are acceptable for our side. We can go for the oh, we can actually just go for the jinx and go for jinx pair. But I think I'll consider the nar with the belt because we can give the uh, nar a different note. We'll go for the uh, bramble vest here so that we can get the um, so that we can get the frontline value against the crit opponents. It's also getting a shaker later on, at least a shaker. What else? There is no crit opponents. Dragon claw was better. Okay. I should have scouted faster than that. That was my mistake. Do, do, do. Maintain this. We're going to sell our next card, level up, and add in a frontline unit if we can. We could decide to roll a bit for some upgrados too. Upgrados are not bad to have whatsoever in this particular point of the game. So we are going to look for this. We can actually fit in. Wow, wow, wow. We, what is this? Is this four brawlers? I see. Yes, that is four brawlers we see at the moment. We are going to go for it if we can. And in this case, we can go for the Rebel Synergy 2 onto the Malphi 2. Mm hmm. So chainmail, chainmail, give that thing the bramble. We're going to sell all the other units that are irrelevant to our composition right now to get the interest gold at the ready. We're no longer going to use the uh, the um, the uh, what you call it, use the uh, mystic synergy. So we're going to take that out if we can. The shake goes on to our kogma, but our kogma is spinning very very strongly. Take the opponents down the end. Now we have a sturdy front line to buy us time. This might be good enough for us to go for level eight, and now we chill. All right. No, we are going to continue our path along the way. There's a lot of stuff that we could put in, like we can put Fizz in for the infiltrator surge with Zed, not that bad either. Just because that's a filler unit for synergies does not mean he's bad whatsoever. It does feel kind of bad to take out mystics in this type of lobby, where there's going to be a lot of mechs to see. It means victors, and the best way to counter victors is in the uh, mystic synergy instead of you know, rebel synergy. So you know what? Let's change our ideals. Let's go for mystics instead of rebels. I think it might be much stronger to go for that route instead. So let's try to go for that if we can. We got Nar in the front to you know do Nar things. We'll sell the fizz if we need the interest gold. If you can't get interest gold, then tough luck. We'll give up on it. The nocturnes that carry here on this side, it seems. Okay. Oof. Thankfully, my my brawlers are tanky. Oh, not tanky enough. Ah, sell. Sell, 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 sell. That is one strong mech at the ready. Gangplank in the front. Mmm. Gangplank is a tech we could also utilize to a certain degree. Uh, you know, Guardian, Bramble, mm, Zix. Mm. 
demolitionist. Mm. They did buff Gangplank a lot recently, so they did make the uh, Rebel Gangplank comp a lot stronger. Maybe I'll consider that to that a bit more. I would need better tank items so that the Gangplank does not get one shot it. But it is something definitely worth considering for sure. Forty eight is not weak. Okay, that's Lost Whispers too. It could also be Hannah Justice, so you know what? Let's just go for Hannah Justice instead. I think Hannah Justice is the better choice to go for in this case scenario. Let me level up, add in a synergy. It could be the Israel for now for Chronos. Not sure if I need you right now, right now. And as I said, there are some Vanguards in the lobby, but I think a Hannah Justice might be a better itemization to go for than like play around one Vanguard like opponents in total. So we're gonna go for this if we can. I'll keep this just in case I might need him in the end. The bow can be, I don't know, maybe another damage item later on? Not entirely sure. The bow should be something different worth like a while like adding. Maybe like a like a Zrots or maybe um we'll have to see. The Hand of Justice is trying its best to get value here. Not sure if it's the healing one. Looks like the healing one so far because the damage is not really that amazing. Oh no, it's not the healing one. Oh no, is it the healing one? I don't know! He's healing and not healing at the same time. Ah. Now we want to look for Jinx upgrades if we can too, to a degree. We might have leveled a bit too fast, but it's okay. We can just keep rolling for stuff anyways. So we're going to level up, roll... Get that is a real at the ready. We have a Graze at the ready too, but um, there is also a Nar that we can get. It means that we might consider taking out the, um, you know, the bro. The bro can go out, and there's nothing wrong with that. So we can give the itemizations here instead to our fine, fine Jinx here. Jinx, our protagonist. Jinx, our hero. It's nothing that bad to go for whatsoever. So we keep the units here in this particular locale. We have two Jinx sets already, but it's not going to be enough yet. I could sell the Gangplank too, but I think Gangplank into like a Zix is a bit better to combo to go for in this meta right now, ever since they buffed it. Ah, uh, the opponent is a secondary Vanguard opponent, that's unfortunate. But the opponent here does not have blue buff onto his Cassiopeia, means that he does not have damage. That's quite interesting. But I don't have damage either, do I? <laughs> oh boy, do I not have damage either. If the Jinx popped in, this would have been an easy opponent, but Jinx did not pop in the end. We could not kill the Evictor nor the Cassiopeia in time. And whatever the uh, Blitzcrank pulled, probably a Vanguard unit did not die either. So we do need to find our upgrados and our compositions a bit faster if we can to have a good chance in this game. It seems we couldn't maintain a good win streak because our Brawler upgrades were a bit delayed. Our Jinx upgrade did show up in the end. I could go for Mystics here in step 2. More Jinxes. I could go for Mystics too, but nah, Mystics at this point in the game. Not that good of an idea, right? Do you want to go for like a random lucky Jinx 3 star show out of nowhere and hope that it helps us win the game somehow? We could go for that type of show, yes, we could, we could. Should we though? I'm not sure if we should. Oh, whoops. I was buying for the here. That's fine though. Awk! Shaco is a bit, bit far away, but still very, very worrisome to a degree. Our Jinx is doing a lot of damage, though. That must be the Hannah Justice damage buff right there. Mm -hmm. Oh no! That's a Shaco! No, Shaco, no! I want to cry! I have no other emotes! I see. Zephyr is at the ready, another Jinx at the ready too. Zephyr should be the uh, better choice to go for. We could also go for the Rebels medal actually, to make our Gangplank into a free free Rebel. That's also not that bad too. But the Zephyr difference is a huge difference to have in this game for sure. Ignoring a Zephyr would be a very, very dangerous and quite dumb <laughs> factor to go for when we're going for a Blaster Tech in general. So we're going to go for the uh, Blaster first. We don't really need to make anything else into a Rebel style necessary. You can, we could do it. But nowhere near necessary whatsoever. So we're going to wait on that to a certain sense. We do want to find our frontline upgrades because our frontline does not buy us time. They're still all one star, right? Our backline cannot do much, which is the main, main reason why we're losing these fights and winning in general. All right. So we're going to keep this continued and we shall see how this... Oh, an Aurelian Soul at the ready. Aurelian Soul is a very nice unit to have. I do want to put this one in and... Maybe this out for for uh, for like uh, for like something else too. I do want to put this one in if I can. I really really do. 
I do wonder if I can, though, to a sense. We'll see. All right, let's just pull this one. Mm. But not enough damage to kill anything, huh? Oh, it's taking forever to pop. It's because the since the other units aren't well upgraded, the Jinx cannot like a pop off as fast either. Maybe going for Gangplank was a bit better than going for Nar, uh, Nar number two. That's the main reason why it's not working though, to a certain sense. Since the other units aren't strong enough to kill the um or support the Jinx whatsoever, the Jinx itself is not popping to a certain degree. So we do need to be careful about that for sure. Mm -hmm. Nar number two, interesting, interesting. I could put in more rebels too. It's not really that bad to put in more rebels as well. Mm. We'll see though, we'll see. Put him here. I do want to take out the Malphite if I really, really can though, to a certain sense. We will have to see and check. Uh, the Jinx is really weak though. Like I realize that I can't prevent this Victor from ulting. In this sense too. And the Victor should not have like done that much. Okay. Yowch, that hand is just in mech tech. Very, very terrifying. Very, very strong. Do you want a Zix into it? Yeah, I do want the Zix into a Gangplank tech instead, but I would need a Gangplank 2 star for this to be much, much better, not a Gangplank 1 star. So leveling will not be that feasible too. I'm keeping these just in case I have to go for 3 stars too. That is my one of my few win conditions at the moment. The game's a lot better since we got a Frontline 2 star instead. It's, it's much nicer in that particular sense. Hmm. We'll see. We see, we maintain, we are trying to perform. No. There we go. Mm. Cool. If the hand of justice pops, it's fine. But the hand of justice um, not popping can be very, very detrimental to a sense. We can give the uh, gangplank this item here, the uh, these gauntlets, so that it will not die as easily. I do want to find that Zix, and in that case, we can just go for the. Ooh, we have to find a rolling here too, then, huh? We can just go for two brawlers instead. It's not that bad to go for two brawlers too. Found the Zix, two brawlers. Just for the synergies. In which case, going for instead of Illoi 2, Aurelian Soul should be a bit better. Mm -hmm. to, to a sense. And we will give the these Gauntlet to you, too. Oh, wow. Okay. And right now. Everything else not really that necessary, so we'll probably just sell. We do not have a Vi in this comp, huh? Not having Vi is quite, quite big, I have to say. Mm-hmm, good. With the double Aurelians popping off, they are doing well. Two Brawlers means we only have the appropriate Brawlers at the ready. Jinx 3-star and our 3-star is not going to happen. Can we hope to sneak in a level 9 so we can add more synergies? Maybe, we'll try, maybe. We can also keep on rolling to find our Rolling Soul 2-star into Gangplank 2-star. We have two choices to make, two choices. If we lose one more fight, we'll just all in right now. But preferably, it should be better to go for level 9, preferably, preferably. Because I'm probably not going to find anyways, in this case. Oh, is that the exact same items, or is that the exact same items? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Quicksilver, huh? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna keep on rotating to confuse our opponents to a certain degree. I guess I'll just give this to Israel so Israel can all faster too. Thankfully, we killed that girl fast. Oh no! Oh wow, it didn't hit the blue screen, it hit that one too. Quite unfortunate there. Well, now we can't go for level 9, that's quite unfortunate. It actually passed by all those units. Probably because it was a Aurelian Souls, probably. 
Level 9 is no longer possible. That's quite sad. What should I do? That one loss is kind of big. Mm. What should I do? I guess Israel did that kind of too fast there. Oh, man, but... There's very few methods of getting stronger, but I have to. Oh, nice. We got stronger. Is this good enough, though? I'm not sure. Is this going to be good enough for me? Keep it here. Keep it here, keep it there, and we'll see how this goes. Two Zephyrs. Okay. Gameplay doing work. The Jinx popped her initial one. Can she pop her second one? The second one should be the more important one to go for. Nice, she did. Alright, good it. Nice. Got him. Just good enough. Now, this should be enough for the next level, if you can. Our Relian Soul difference. Morel and Nomicons on the Relian Soul could be good enough. These Scotland is the better one, though, if you can. If you can't get the Morel, the um, that one in the sense, we could go for like a Shroud or a Trap Claw. Shroud or a Trap Claw is also acceptable as the next choice. In which case, we'll probably just go for a Trap Claw, maybe? Trap Claw sounds a bit more useful onto the Gnar than the other one. Because it can stun, stun the, um, actually, maybe the, mm, stun this one at best, really? Hmm, your quick tower was better? Not entirely sure. I don't know if I can keep on leveling yet. Maybe next round, maybe. Um, next round we can. But we would have to lose this round for this to work though, which I do not want to happen. Trap Claw will work onto the Nars, or my Nars a bit, bit tankier. Is there anything I want to s Clump up a bit. That is a Blade Master opponent. That could actually could be really dangerous for me. No, no, it's not. It's fine. If the Jinx Pops are, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. As long as the Jinx Pops are fine. Because Jinx does a lot of damage in the end. Opponent survives, 1 HP. Good. Mm, leveling up and adding in one more unit should be very, very important for us. So we are going to just level up regardless. Because right now we do not have any HP to spare. We gotta get stronger fast. And now, immediately, I mean immediately. We can't afford just to lay it. There is currently some... Mm -hmm. There's currently some vanguards in the lobby, right? There's some mystic mechs too. Mystic mechs will actually be a problem if you face them, but there's these mystic players are a problem if you face them. But currently, there's also four. Oh no, this guy also has four mystics too. Never mind, we don't need you. Never mind, never mind. We'll see. He has four mystics, so putting in Jano would just make his bat line tankier, to a certain sense. It's not going to be that easy whatsoever. Okay, one pop. We just need two to pop. Two is not gonna pop. <laughs> Man, killing one is hard. This one's strong. Ouch. 88741. Yosh. That is going to be a very difficult opponent to deal with later on. <laughs> There's a guy with that good to start too. These guys are not weak. They're all very, very strong late game cards in the end, aren't they? Yeah, huh? Dun -dun -dun. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? <laughs> Hmm, what should I give this to? Can you find two gangplanks? Two! One! Oh no, one is Uno. Two, okay. 
that's fair. So now we can put Gangplank more in an area where it can be threatful. Mm. I do prefer the bottom area, to be honest. All right, we shall see. Can you kill him fast? Nice, good job. Our right, gangplank also popped off too. We both have gangplank two star, huh? That's very uh, rare to see. That is going to be top six. Somebody dies here too. Top five, top four, good. Somebody face a ghost in one, it seems. Top four. Now we are going to continue this and see how further we can get. The items on this guy is not really that good. This one's the problem child here, this one at the moment. Mm-hmm. This one is the is a problem child for sure. I hope to try it, but that'll be it though. Oh, gonna move it. Seems a bit difficult, we'll see. Yeah, huh? If the gangplank pops, it should be fine for us. One pop! Good. The Jinx also popped instantly too, but man, that erg! All right, got him. Whew, that fight, so many bombs. Yeah, this guy's a monster, isn't he? Poke. That Dark Star tag won't do much against him whatsoever. Mm, now, we do need to think about our next course of action here. You're not gonna do much. Ooh, what is this? A game of some sort. This one. This one, this one, this one. Two. Two at the ready on huh? two. See how it goes. Shovel him. Gang playing pop faster. Flood the Vanguards instead. Alright. We want the gang playing pop fast. So we can just like um, you know, kill something. He does not have any thresh value here compared to the other one. So he should he should be this one too, because this guy is a monster to be honest. Top two. Like these ga these games, dude, are always about like a few upgrades early on, getting a few upgrades, not getting a few upgrades. Let's get Lost Whispers. Lost Whispers for our Five Find Israel, and we'll attack together. Reposition. Alright, now we're going to see how this continues. We are going to clump up my fairy princess. Oh. <laughs> Keep this going. And we'll attack from the side one by one. Get it. Get it, Kapam. Take him down. One more. Narsh! The Jinx is popping! The Jinx is popping! Yes, she's popping! Pop harder! No! <laughs> Alright, GG. GG. Good game. Oh, man. Was that eight Urgots? <laughs> An army of Urgots show up. Good game, though.